Hello, hello, hello. My name is Azad Mardin. I am the founder and creator of Node University. In this short lecture, I would like to talk about how NPM works. NPM, the way NPM works is very similar to how Git works. In Git, when you execute a certain command and you are deep inside of your project, such as uh, you are in some sub 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 folder and you, you try to execute a command, let's say git status. So git will try and uh, find the dot git hidden folder. That's how git knows where the root of this project and uh, all the metadata about this particular repository. Same thing with the npm CLI tool. When you are deep inside of your project, npm will keep going folder after folder, it will be going up and it will be looking for either one of two things. It will be either looking for package.json. If npm finds package.json, that's it. It knows this is the root of the project and that's where it will create node underscore modules. Node underscore modules, it's the folder where all the packages live, all the dependencies live. In Node.js, unlike in other programming languages, they, the packages live locally where your source code is. You typically do not commit your node underscore modules to a version control system such as Git or SVM, but you still have it locally. You don't have it globally. That's a better architecture, better design. It allows you to avoid conflicts. So npm will go find that folder if you already have it. If you don't have it, it will create it. It will create it on the same level in the same place where you have the package.json file because that's the root of the project. That's the top most level for your project. Now, let's say you forgot to create package.json. Maybe it's a brand new project or someone else forgot to create it when you clone this project. What will happen? Let's assume you still have node underscore module. In this case, NPM might give you a warning, depends on what version of NPM you have, but it will still download and install the package locally where you have that node underscore module. So now scenario number three, you don't have package.json and you don't have node underscore module. In this case, NPM will keep going. It will keep going up the tree chain and probably sooner or later, at some point, it will find that package.json. Maybe it will be your home folder if you're using macOS. The home folder starts with a tilde sign with a curly dash and it will install that package there. So you can imagine uh, it's not a good situation. You have your source code uh, in a project folder. Let's say the project folder is called foobar and uh, your package is somewhere else, completely in a different folder outside of your project. Uh, and the interesting thing is that your source code, when you require that package, let's say it's express framework, you require it, it might still work because when you require, it will search using the same algorithm. It will keep going uh, higher and higher. So uh, when I was teaching my workshops, I had a lot of situations like that. People would install something without having package.json, without having node underscore modules in a just brand new folder. They would install using npm install express, for example. It will install it somewhere who knows where, well, it actually shows you the folder, but of course they're not paying attention to that folder. They're just uh, happy coding. And the funny thing, it works, it works. Their application is working, but uh, when they try to port this application, save it and then clone it and restart it over again, it's not going to be working and they run into all kinds of issues. So. That's the way NPM works. My advice, the best rule, the best practice, when you're starting a project, always, always, always start it with creating package.json. This way you're not going to run into any troubles and most of the cases save your dependencies and use them locally. Do not install them globally. That's it for this lecture until I'll see you later.